Hi foxes and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here welcome my name is Brittany and I am also known as Shop Foxboro on all the sites and today I've got a little Goodwill haul for you so if you are interested in thrift hauls and specifically vintage thrift hauls then stay tuned So I was out and about running errands the other day, as you do, and I spotted a Goodwill, um, and did I need more things? No. Did I go in anyway? Yes. <laughs> so I told myself that I was just going to pick up things for myself because I have been kind of wanting to sort of rotate my closet a little bit and so I went in there um, looking for things for myself but uh, I think I walked out with nothing for myself and a whole lot of vintage so I am going to go through this haul with you today I'm usually sitting during these videos but today I'm standing so that I can show you the pieces a little bit better um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right in. So when I actually got up to the checkout, the girl was like, oh yay, hangers! And that led me to believe that they were out of hangers. So the store was really full and they said they had been processing and putting out like a ton of new stuff and I think that might be why I found so many lovely things. So I've actually been kind of not wanting to buy modern stuff so much anymore. <laughs> um, but I will make exceptions for a couple of brands and styles that I love. And this one is a mod cloth dress. It is by Sugar Hill Brighton. Um, let's see, can you see that? And it is just like this palm tree shirt. Is this a shirt dress? Yeah, shirt dress with a tie waist and I just thought that this was really cute. This has been sold on mod cloth and I always love these UK brands because they put pockets in their stuff. They know that women want pockets. So I picked this up. This was um, six dollars. It's a US size six and then I actually have a Goodwill discount card. I know that all Goodwills don't do this but ours um, has a discount card you pay $10 a year and then you get a discount and it's based on like how much you buy. So I'm pretty sure I got 20% off of this purchase. I'll check that. And if it's not right, I'll add like a thing here that says that it's not right. Um, yeah, so cute little dress. I like that. I will not be sad to list that in my closet. Next up, so, okay, so there were these these girls and they were like, you know, doing their shopping as they do. And one of them held up this shirt and was like, check this out. And I was like, oh my god, I want that. And so I kind of like stalked it. She ended up putting it right back because it probably wasn't her size or whatever. But look at this. Look at that. It is a lovely Victorian revival piece from the 1980s sheer sleeves it's got um pearl buttons up the back of the neck it is by nicola let's see if i can show you this tag and it is a size six made in the usa and it's fully lined and just really nice quality and i didn't see miraculously any stains on it so i was very excited to find that a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you is actually for my vintage booth, um, but this one I believe I will be putting online. This has a number of little like pop seams and stuff and I'm gonna soak it in some like whitener because it is just like very very slightly yellowed and I feel like I could get it a little brighter. But I picked this one up because it is definitely a larger waistline. I'm going to say that's probably like 32 to 34. Um, and it was not missing any buttons. And it's like this crinkle white 
fabric, definitely a synthetic, um, and it's sort of pressed to look like it is um, like quilted almost. So I liked this piece. It could be from the 1960s, uh, but it's it's got these nice little um, bra stays here on the inside where it's like it's a snap and you put your bra strap in between that and it keeps it from slipping around and it probably would have had a slip that went with it because it's so sheer but I really just I loved these little like pockets here these tiny little triangle pockets so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work to this but this will go into my Etsy shop because I am trying to get more <laughs> plus vintage in there or extended sizes um, I divide my Etsy shop up into sizes because I feel like that's how people shop. Why would you want to look through things that aren't your size? And as you can see, very sad, I do not have enough of my um, larger sizes listed. So I need to get on that. Another vintage dress from the 50s or 60s. This one has a metal zipper. Um, it's more of like a 60s silhouette, but... It is just like this really heavy duty black like woven cotton. I don't know if you can see that. It keeps trying to like focus on my face. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, it's just really pretty and very nicely made and I was surprised that I couldn't find any tags in this but I did look. Um, but yeah just a beautiful little a black dress and I'm not sure whether or not I will list that. I kind of feel like I have enough black dresses in my Etsy store, but it might just be my imagination. So, okay, next item is this very colorful counterparts top. It is a size 22 woman. And this I just thought was cool because it is like this soft rayon and then it buttons up the front and then it's got this sort of structured waistline in the back if you can see that down there. And then it's got these little side ties so it would go like this and then the back would be kind of structured. And then it has like these wrap around ties that you would tie in the front. So I just thought it was really cool um, and that it was going to be really fun to style on my dress form. And I just felt like someone would really like that. Pretty much everything I bought is $6 plus my 20 or 25% off or whatever it was. <clears throat> so I'll let you know if something is more, but I don't think I bought anything that was more. This beauty is a silk top. So this is by Winter Silks. It's a very pretty 90s Y2K floral pink silk top in a size extra large. This is the type of thing when I was working I would have like kept for myself but I don't have any real reason to wear silk anymore. I would just get cheese on it from my children. Or me, let's be honest. This will probably go to my booth. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's not vintage, but you'll see why I had to buy this purse. Oh, look at that. It's a book print handbag with little medieval looking candles and ladders and stuff and it's super clean inside and it's just got like these little things on the bottom that I didn't, I didn't see a brand or really anything to denote any information whatsoever but I just thought this it was really cool the prints is very much up my alley so I picked it up. So that was the first bag. Now we're going on to the second bag. So vintage clothing. This has a couple of little seam pops but I couldn't pass it up. It was so cute. 
It is a 1970s little polyester dress with the polka dot contrasting neckline and look at buttons down the front and then it has like a nice full skirt and then the cuffs are also the contrasting polka dot and I was like this is just so cute it's almost got like that coat dress vibes to it um but the buttons don't go all the way down they stop like at the waistline so I just thought that was really cute this one after I fix it will probably go into my booth so I passed up um, <laughs> on a Laura Ashley coat <laughs> when I was there and I was talking to Laura Von Fee about this afterwards. I was like, I'm probably going to regret this later, but it was more like from the 90s, but it was still vintage. It was made in Great Britain, but it was black and it had like a brown faux fur collar and I was just like, this is kind of boring and coats are so bulky. So I didn't buy it, but I did buy this. This is a cute little 1970s coat with, look at the button detail on the sleeves. And then I loved that it had the tie that was attached at the back. And it's just sort of got that sweet little A-line shape to it. Um, let me see if I can show you the tags inside. It does have pockets. They're like slit pockets. Where are you? So here's the little ILGWU tag. Oh gosh. It's all faded. Um, but it is the two color one. Here is the wool tag right here. So it is wool and nylon. And then I feel like it had a maker's tag too. But I could be wrong. Maybe not. Even if it hadn't had that ILGWU tag, this color of lining is very typical from the 1970s, as is that sort of super pointed collar there. Um, it looks kind of like a manta ray, but yeah, just very pretty. You can see the curved seam at the back. Um, and this one I will probably put in my booth as well because it's really cold here. I was so excited when I found this. <laughs> this is a 1980s like fisherman confetti knit cardigan. Um, just like look at that beautiful fabric. But it's lined in Sherpa. Oh my gosh. So warm. And the sleeves aren't lined, but the like, you know, you don't want your sleeves too bulky, but yeah, but the main body of it is lined. If this were my size, I would be keeping it because this looks so cozy, but it is sadly a size small. It's an acrylic and wool blend made in Taiwan. Maybe it's from the seventies. Um, and it's by Mark Robbins. Yeah. So just really fun little winter piece and seriously like six bucks and then my discount you just can't beat it that would sell like lightning if I put it in my booth but it's kind of special so I want to put it in my shop so I'm gonna do that this I kind of waffled back and forth on this I feel like these are kind of coming back in style with the whole like Lolita cottage core and um just like the it's just like a cutesy style it's got like scalloped neckline and then just so much embroidery all over but it is also new with tags so it was crafted with pride in the USA my friends and um, I enjoy that and it is by Lori by M casuals the brand does not matter it's just the style there were actually two of these um, but this one's new with tags and the other one wasn't so I just bought this one and then there was another one that was kind of the same color 
but it was a little bit more cropped in length and then it had like mandarin toggle buttons up the front and that one was cute too but I just felt like I was already buying too much stuff and so I didn't get those. This is sweet. This is a mint green, like bright mint green. Asian Chinese robe. Here is the label. And guys, best of all, it had new tags and it has the belts. So it's just a really nice robe. It's supposed to be in that like kimono type of style. And it's got pockets, which you can't see because I'm short. Um, and then it's got the, the tie, so I went ahead and picked that up, and it's nice and soft, and I think that someone will love it. This is one of those things that I probably should not have bought, but I just loved the colors so much, and I thought the style was really cute, um, and I just decided to buy it anyway. So this has like a... Uh, band collar with like a split in the neck and then it is just like a a-line dress with a nice full skirt but it's just really great colors uh the problem with this one is that the zipper is kind of busted down here towards the bottom don't look at my face look at the zipper there we go Okay, so right here it's kind of busted and so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to put a row of stitches in right here and that will serve as a new zipper stop and then it's also kind of sticky so I'm going to rub the inside of the zipper with a little bit of bar soap and that will help slick the zipper um, and then it needs a soak has a couple of stains so this one I got because I love it and I'll probably try and wear it once or twice and then sell it okay the bag is like halfway empty so we're getting there friends I was very excited to find this beautiful cotton yukata um, which is like a summer kimono and it is full length um, oh, that's not how that goes. So it is full length. It does not have a belt. Obviously you can buy a belt for it, but I just feel like if you're buying something like this, if it has a belt with it, I feel like you're just more likely to hit the trigger and buy it. So I am going to purchase a belt for this and um, it does have some vintage tag here so probably like I'm gonna say can you see that there we go I'm gonna say like 90s maybe could be later than that um but yeah so I'm gonna buy a belt for it it is on the longer side but just really pretty and I always enjoy modeling these this was definitely for my booth. Jeans sell like hotcakes. Um, and these are just some vintage Gap jeans. And they are very much in that mom jeans style with a nice skinny tapered leg, but they have a zip side. So the ankle is zippered. And uh, yeah, just like a really cool, super high waisted vintage pair of denim and I've been selling jeans around the 18 to 25 dollar mark in my booth um, if I don't have to do a ton of work for it and put it on dress form and take a bunch of measurements then I'll take less money for them you know two more things so I found this beauty this is a sort of Icelandic knit um, hand knitted in Norway and somehow it's moth proof you guys see this tag it says it's moth proof I don't know how they do that but that's amazing and it didn't have any holes so I believe them um, and just look at how beautiful 
this pattern is and down here at the bottom it has a really pretty and I just really like this colorway it has the metal buttons and uh, yeah so probably 70s 80s but just a very classic cute cardigan this will go in my Etsy shop okay last thing like I said pretty much nothing for myself but I also picked up this denim skirt this is the back actually the front no wait oh my god I'm so confused okay yes <laughs> okay this is the front it has this little triangle bit here it has pockets and then the button is actually on the back with the zipper and um, this had some sort of tag let's see here made in USA 100% cotton just like little 80s skirt so that one will go to my booth very cute and that was the haul that I didn't need to do but I did anyway but I feel like if you go and you're there and the store's like fully stocked and you just find amazing vintage like the time to buy vintage is when you see it because it's not going to be around forever and it's getting harder and harder to find and more people are looking for it so I was just there it was the right place and the right time for me to find these things and so I brought them home with me <laughs> So I have also had a number of people ask me to do like a booth tour. Um, I don't know that there's like so much tour that we can do as it's like a relatively small space, I guess, but I'm going to try and do some filming and get some footage when I go to update my booth this weekend and hopefully I can take you along with me and you can see how my booth is looking and how it is doing. Um, I am so happy with how it is going. I have been selling a lot of things and they tell me that this space is very popular and they are actually expanding their vintage section because so many people are loving it so that just makes me so happy and um, yeah so I'm going to try to take that take you along with me this weekend and you can kind of see as I refresh my booth and add new things and um, I usually do Instagram updates when I am refreshing my booth and I will post in my stories just like a screenshot or just like a little video of my booth as it is updated. So if you do like that kind of content then you can go and follow me over on Instagram and check out my stories. So as always, thank you for watching and I hope that you will give me a thumbs up on your way out and if you are not already subscribed to this channel and you like vintage fashion or you like reselling, please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I would love to have you here on my channel with my little group of vintage lovers. So I'll see you next time. Bye! Shine.